How's it going guys? It's going off grid. I'm just giving you a, a tour of my new trailer. It actually got broken into and all my tools and everything got stolen. That is the new compressor. I have two. I run them both. I have a reliable 3000 watt inverter here. That one runs all the battery chargers and that compressor. Then I have an SWI power inverter here. They're both 48 volt inverters. This is 2000 watts and this one runs only the Bostitch uh, compressor there. So I have this 48 volt 12S battery hooked up to the SWI and that is a booster cable to my other 4 kilowatts of batteries down there. Those are Chevy Volt batteries which also have a BMS which is right here. And this battery also has its own BMS, and we got a thousand, no, we got 1170 watts, I believe, on the roof, something like that. A little over a thousand watts, anyways. But ran the compressors all day, ran the chargers all day, have not dipped below 50 volts, which is full charge. So, super, super, super happy with the system. I'm actually going to be installing another one of these systems, that's the solar coming in right here, I just drilled a hole through the roof there. I'm going to be doing a very similar install, a little more wattage. It's going to be about ooh, 1200 watts-ish. And I'm going to be uh, installing a bigger inverter. So instead of having two small inverters, so I have 5000 watts worth of inverters, I'm going to be installing one inverter. It's only 3000 watts, but it can surge uh, 9000 watts, I believe, for 20 seconds or 12000 watts for 20 seconds, something like that. And it's made by uh, Signier, Signier Power. It's an inverter charger. I went that route just because uh, he's gonna be using just power tools, just like me, myself. But I'm very, I know exactly what these high frequency inverters can do. So I stay within their limits and I have no issues with them. But a lot of people that aren't used to that, they end up blowing them up because they just put a little bit, they run something and then they put a huge surge on it and that's what kills them. And uh, so I don't want that to happen, so I'm going with the low frequency inverter. It's a little bit more robust. Anyways, thanks for watching.